name is Richard McLean. I'm the Managing Director of Land and Water Plant. And we're here today with my new ZX250, which is currently it's the biggest machine that we've had in, this, in our fleet. Our amphibious excavator fleet consists of machines as small as two ton, five ton, eight ton, and more recently the 130s. And now we've got the 210 and the 250 long reach amphibious machines. These machines have been bought specifically for, on behalf of a client to work on a national infrastructure job. And uh, we're thrilled that we've been able to help our client source these machines through us and we're looking forward to seeing them working in the field. Brought them here today to wet test them, to get them hot, and to give them a chance to, to, for us to be able to look at the stability of the machines and assess them and make sure that we're comfortable with it for them to go to their next working operation. So there's the ZX210 you can see here and the ZX250 as well. Uh, we've had to modify the machines quite heavily from the standard excavator. Obviously, it's got the super long front on it, but we've also, for these machines, the access and egress for the operator is quite complicated for an amphibious machine. So we've built these, custom built the walkways for these machines in our workshop, and the machine's fitted with Strickland buckets, Tefra quick hitches on the machines, and low flow, high flow auxiliary circuits with a case train direct back to tank as well. So we can put a variety of attachments on the machine. The machines are also fitted with panel in biodegradable hydraulic oil, which is our standard oil for our machines that work in the environment where land and water meet. It's very important for us that we have a good oil and that the, the, we have a good oil history on our, our excavators. So we take regular samples of the oil to keep, make sure we keep the condition. The undercarriages come from a company in Malaysia that we've visited a couple of times now. Fitted to them for this environment, when they start floating is we've got the additional side tanks. Uh, and this is a common addition that we've put on our machines now to try and make sure we have the correct stability. These machines can work on Mars, but they can also work on water. We bought our first undercarriage from EIK back in 2010. These are probably our fifth and sixth units that we've had from EIK. And we've been very pleased with the quality of the build. I visited the factory only earlier this year and to see the quality and the welding and the technique and the design in the machines gives you great confidence in them. The 250 and the 210 also fitted with safety shield thumbs up systems for cumiform recognition and also for approaching the machine for the drivers, part of the requirements for our customers. 